Here I'm going to show you how to create a histogram in Excel. Now I'm, here I'm going to show you two different ways to create histograms or more to the point two different types. So I'm going to show you how to create the vertical histogram and also a horizontal histogram with values that can compare each other. So first I'm going to begin with I have data, seven dates and just some regular data here not specific to anything and I want to create a vertical histogram. So what I'm going to do is highlight all of this data, go up to tools, or go up to insert, chart. I'm going to choose a regular column chart and I want a clustered column with a 3D visual effect. Or never mind, I'm just going to choose a regular regular 2D column. It'll be easier. I'm going to ensure that my values are correct. So I want my x-axis labels to be the date and I want these values to be C2 to C8 correct. Now I'm going to click finish. So what I have here is a basic bar chart but it's not quite a histogram. So what I'm going to do is right click chart options and I'm going to take the legend off and now what I want to do is I want to make these columns all touching each other. So right click over the data series, right click over any one of the columns click Format Data Series, then go to Options, and make the gap width 0. Click OK, and there you've got a very simple histogram chart. Now another thing that's often done is to add a trend line to this. So right click over the data series, click Add Trend Line, go ahead and do a polynomial trend line, click OK, and you've got a trend line. So that's one type. Now I'm going to show you the more common vertical, or the more common horizontally oriented uh, histogram. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Now I'm going to expand my data, and what I want to do is, say I gave out a survey for marketing or something similar to that and I have respondents who are male and who are female and so this is the percent who responded favorably so I want to compare the two sexes together now I'm going to use a histogram chart and the way I'm going to do it this time is select all of the data insert chart instead of choosing a column chart I'm going to choose a bar chart and I'm going to leave it on the default clustered bar. Here I want to make sure just that all of my data is correct. And it looks like it is. So I'm going to go ahead and click finish. Now you'll notice that it's not exactly a, uh, it's not a histogram chart yet because the data is on the right side. So I need to be the blue on the right and the purple on the left first what I'm going to do is take off the legend and in order to change it one of these columns of values has to be negative. A very easy way to do that is to put a negative 1 in a cell, copy that cell, highlight the data you want to turn negative, right click, paste special, and under operation click multiply. OK. And all of these points return to negative. And if you notice on the chart, everything, you have the blue on the left and the purple on the right. So now there are a few things that need to be done. First, we need to get the dates on the left side. So what you want to do is carefully in between the columns right click on the category axis, format axis, 
and go on to the Patterns tab. On the Patterns tab, you want to go to the Major Tick Mark Type, click None, Minor Tick Mark Type, click None, and Tick Mark Labels, click Low. Then click OK. And you'll notice that the dates are all on the left side. Now one thing I'm going to do really quickly is to make the font a little bit smaller. Or a lot smaller. Okay, now there are a couple other things to do. First of all, these are not negative values. So on the x-axis, I want to make sure that on the left here, these are not negative. So right click on the axis over any one of the numbers, format axis, go into the number tab, go down to custom, and what you're going to want to do here is enter 0 semicolon 0 semicolon 0 semicolon. Now that's if you want these to be numbers down here. If I had turned all of the data into a percentage, so if I had percentage points here, then I would do 0 percent semicolon 0 percent semicolon 0 percent semicolon. But for just regular numbers, it is it works to just do zero semicolon, zero semicolon, zero semicolon. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Then click OK, and all of these negative numbers are now positive. The last thing to do is to make this a histogram. So right click over any one of the columns or the bars, click Format Data Series. <clears throat> go to options, make the gap width 0 and the overlap 100. Click OK and there you go. So now you can see that it's uh, a histogram. So you've got a histogram comparing the men and the women. So let's just make sure which values are on which side. and it looks like the men are on the left and the women on the right. So since we took out the legend, how are we going to know what's what? Go down to the shapes bar at the bottom. It's just the auto shapes. Click the rectangle. Click and drag. Then type men. Do the same thing for the right side. And type women. Make the box a little bit bigger. I'm going to right click format auto shape and I'm doing this just to make the box a little bigger. Then click off and there you go. So you have the men on the left and the women on the right side. Now I didn't make the boxes look good. I didn't make them look in character with a graph, but uh, you can change them and format them so that they do look just like the colors in the graph, so it looks good. But the point is, that's how you can identify the data points on the left from the data points on the right. And those are the two ways that you can make a histogram in Excel.